Hi fam. This is my D&D recap for my weekly Monday game. In case you don't remember, last game was a lot of me rolling terribly and having to put all my dice in dice jail. This time, did pretty good. I actually cleaned up before I made the video. There was one die in here, but it wasn't too bad at night. Um, but the real big thing is um, my, so my gunslinger has this backstory where, um, one of her best friends betrayed her and killed a whole bunch of people in this, like, revolutionary group that we were in, and she's the only one that survived, but no one knows that she survived, and so she, like, created an alias and started a whole new life, and the guy that was her friend that betrayed her is in the same town that she is currently. He rose very high in the government and is there for official business purposes. And so our party is looking for this gem that's a key that leads to a thing, like a magic sword or something. I came in in the middle of the campaign, so I'm, I know most of the details, but I can't really describe it very well right now. Anyway, so we're looking for this key and one of our party members stormed off for totally unrelated reasons. And he ends up running into the guy that I've been looking for and hilarity ensues. So all the things that my character did, irrelevance, probably not gonna get talked about much in this video, but <laughs> she's gonna be really happy when he, fi he finally caught up to us at the end of the session and hasn't had a chance to tell her yet. But when he tells her what happened, it's gonna be, Fantastic. Basically, he um, disguised self, set off the warning bell that's the alarm that says intruders in town, caused a whole bunch of chaos, wanders into your room looking all frazzled and pretending to be just a woman who's scared because chaos is happening. And the two people in the room are a random guard and the dude that I'm looking for. And um, so dude goes and my party member tricked the guard into believing he is just an innocent maiden, killed him with um, inflict wounds, just straight up one inflict wounds, dead. And then followed the trail to where my target is and snuck, disguise self again. Now he's walking around as the guard he killed. So everyone thinks it's totally normal that he's just walking around or running around rather. And so he sneaks up on him and casts fireball, does 40 something points of damage and then runs. And no one knows who cast the spell um, it's been five and a half minutes since that happened, and I need to take advantage of this.